Swole Benji here. Today I'm going to go over once again the best bolt casters, or rather the best dungeon clearing build for new players with low IP and low specs. It is the bolt casters, and let me tell you why. Okay, so first off, yes, I'm using full 8.3. You don't have to use 8.3 as a new player. You won't have this for your first few days, but after a couple days, you'll be able to afford it and have the specs for it. Anyway, the point is, here's why bolt casters are the best. Okay, you see this spell here, this explosive bolt spell. All right, so you'll you'll realize that you unlock this at level three. That's your main ability to clear trash. And when I say trash, I mean these little packs of mobs, just regular mobs, not boss mobs. This spell, all right, here's what it looks like. It has long reach, it has a big explosion, and it hits really hard. Out of all of the Q spells in the game, there is only one weapon class that hits harder. And let me show you what that is. That is the Arcane Staff. All right. And uh, you don't even unlock that ability until, what, tier 6? Yeah, you have to be uh, Magic Shock, all right? You don't get Magic Shock until, let's see, level 70. <laughs> you, you unlock Magic Shock at level 70. It has an almost 5 second cooldown. And yeah, it hits slightly harder. It's a slightly bigger circle, but you also have to channel it. This is an instant cast fire. Like, you instantly shoot it, and then you can move again, right? So it does it does root you while you play the animation, but that's it. So this only has a 1.9 to 5 second cooldown. That other weapon had a 4.8 second cooldown. So yeah, that's the only Q spell in the entire game out of all of the weapons that hits harder than this one. But... Here's where crossbows and bolt casters in general win. You see this passive, well prepared. Every four spell casts, it resets your Q ability. So this is what happens, okay? Look in the top left, right under my my name bar here. When I cast a spell, you see this little icon that says consecutive spells used. So then now we have two. Now we have three. Now watch this. And also look at my Q abilities cooldown. Boom, boom, instant, right? I just shot two in a row. This... This has, there is no other Q spell in the game, no other weapon in the game whose Q spell hits as hard or has a short of a cooldown. All the other Q spell weapons have a longer cooldown or do far, far less damage or have a really crappy area of effect, okay? So what this means is that when you see a trash mob, you just press Q and they die, okay? You just press Q and they die. And a lot of people always ask, how are you instant casting? You go to game settings, you go to controls, and you see this thing that says spell casting, quick cast on a button press and there you have it okay so that's the q spell and that's the passive for the bolt casters now you're probably wondering what about the other spells all right i use sundershot but this is not something you use on trash mobs okay in guides in the past in my in my youtube channel i have i make a guide or a, a video every day and i have said to use limhurst cape in the past but i'm retracting that and the reason you don't need limhurst cape is don't use your W spell on trash mobs, and you won't have mana problems that way, okay? Like, the Q spell has an extremely low energy cost compared to other Q spells as well, and while the energy cost is way higher on the W spell, this is for bosses. This will eliminate more armor than any other spell in the game, which will allow you to kill them with your E spell, which, out of all of the weapons in Albion Online, the Bolt Casters has the highest damage E spell without a combo. Okay, so the one-handed Curse Staff combined with um, an offhand, the, the Crypt Candle, will deal more damage. But you have to stack up four curses, and then you gotta cast it, and you gotta wait for it to explode. This thing, you just start, you start blasting, okay? It's like you got a machine gun, all right? So that's the bolt casters, that's the passive, that's the skills. Now, as a new player, this weapon will out DPS all other weapons in the entire game at low to no specs. Alright, once you have maximum specs and very high specs in leather armor, Light Crossbow becomes faster at clearing tier 5 dungeons because it eliminates your globals. Alright, so look, these little skeleton bros here, right? This one has 100 HP and this one has 361. I can you I can kill them in one global cooldown. A global cooldown is when you cast a spell, and then your all of your abilities go on cooldown. Like when I press Q, I can't press anything else for like half a second, right? See, so look, boom, 
So that's one global cooldown to kill that enemy. When you are at very high to maximum specs, when you have your boots running and your specter jacket running, which I will show off in another video, every single mob dies in one global cooldown, right? So for this mob, I have to press Q once, and then I gotta press it one more time and it dies, okay? When you're just starting out with, uh, with bolt casters, it's gonna take maybe three to four casts to kill, but that's better than eight to 10 casts on other weapons, all right? But there is a way to make it even easier, right? And that is the, the Druid Robe, okay? The Druid Robe, you cast this ability, right? Now, let me tell you real quick. In Albion Online, your cloth armor, all right, is a damage multiplier, all right? You see here where it says physical attack bonus, magic attack bonus, four, plus 48%. You get 8% from the passive, and you get 40% from the armor, right? Some people would say that you should wear this goofy freaking item, the cultist robe, so you can get a flat 50 plus 8 for 58%. Well, that's dumb. That's only 58%. You don't need to heal in a tier 5 solo dungeon. You don't need sustain. You're wasting your item slot for... S and that shit's expensive. This is way cheaper. Look, Obsessive Burst, when you cast this, every single time, up to 6 stacks... You gain 6% more damage, so that is a 36% additional damage boost, alright? So here's how it works. I'm gonna press R, and you see this little buff? Now, every time I cast a Q spell, this number goes up, right? And the cooldown resets. So there we go, now just one more cast. And our Q spell is hitting this for what, 630-something, right? So boom, we hit for 638. That's with the buff up, I'm gonna let the buff run out. 638 is how much we hit for. And this is important for later, this is important as you're new. Without the buff, we hit 4, 514. So we're doing over 100 additional damage. And get, look, look at the, the amount of HP that the, the Swordsman has. We can two-shot this thing. We can two-shot it when we have it, our jacket fully buffed up. Alright, I'm going to get into why this is important later, because it really ties into your W and E spells for bosses. This is how you jack up your E's damage to the point where you just delete a boss, okay? And you can delete a boss with his with very little gear, all right? But we're gonna talk now about the helmet, okay? I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a budget hit version two because this is kind of expensive because of my old videos, but here we go. The Spectre Hood, Flash of Insight will reset your armor's ability. So let me explain how this works. We're gonna activate our armor and then stack it up to six, all right? Just real quick, whatever. Almost there. Now, you'll see, right before this buff runs out, it has, like, what, five seconds remaining? I'm gonna press, well, I'm gonna use my helmet so I can use my armor. I'm gonna use my armor ability again, and look, it's already maxed out at six stacks. It stays at six stacks. So, I can run through, look at that, two-shotted, otherwise it's three shots. This guy's two-shotted, or girl, whatever the gender the ghost is. You get the point. With this helmet, you can keep your armor stacks buffed and when you combine it with buff shrines, you're going to tear through these dungeons super quick. All right. Now, here's the budget version, all right? And that is the Stalker Hood. So, the, here's how the Stalker Hood works. You can use it in two ways, all right? Uh, I'm going to come back to that because uh, I'm going to talk about... Well, no, let's let's stay on this one. Why not? i, I got to wait 15 seconds. So, the way this works is when you cast this, you just gain 20% more damage. So... So you would ca you have your armor at 36% additional damage. Your helmet will give you another 20%. It's only for 4 seconds though, right? It's only for 4 seconds, but there's an additional bonus to using it. And let me show you. If the enemy is below 50% life, so let, let me show you real quick. Uh, we're going to shoot this. So you see these bars above the, the monster? Whenever it is below two and a half bars, you can hit your D, and you'll see this purple, like, shield icon. Boom, its armor's broken. Now look how hard. I hit that for 800. All right. And then I'm hitting that for 519. So that just added, like, 300-something damage to the spell, right? So you can use this in conjunction with your other armor shred and your E ability, which your E ability takes just as long to shoot, so you won't get the full benefits, right? But still, th this is the cheap version if you want to delete bosses faster. It just makes your Qs deal like 300 more damage. It's crazy. All right, so for the boots, you would use any leather boot. You don't have to use uh, the Hellion shoes, all right? 
you, you're going to use refreshing sprint and let me show you how refreshing sprint works all right this thing gives you more cooldown reduction so like look at my q spell look I, i'm going to cast it it's got two seconds one second zero now i'm going to press my boots and i'm going to press q two seconds one second zero two seconds boom two seconds and then well it the boots ran out but essentially these boots have a low cooldown they're going to reduce all of your abilities cooldowns while you use it which helps you have more uptime on your jacket. And I can hear the blizzard like casting forever. Do y'all hear that? Yeah, that's the glitch. That's weird. I've never had that happen. All right. So the passives on your boots and helmet, by the way, when you're high specs, you would use damage. All right. But when you're low specs, you'll use quick thinker, right? On both your boots and your helmet. Now for capes, the expensive version is the highest level Thetford cape you can wear. Now, this shoots out a lightning bolt when you auto-attack an enemy. In auto-attack, you just left-click them or press spacebar. You see that lightning, that chain lightning that shot out? Kind of like a World of Warcraft shaman. All right, that's what chain lightning is. I'm just going to kill this real quick. And at 8.3, this thing hits really hard. It has a 15-second cooldown. It hits four targets, all right? That's four times 320 magic damage base. That's pretty good, but there's a budget version, and the budget version is the Caroleone Cape. So the Caroleone Cape is really cool because it lets you shoot your Q spell twice, and being the second highest damage Q spell in the game, this thing blasts. Like, look at these ghosts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, bam and bam, they're dead. They just instantly died. They have been erased from the game forever. All right, because I, I just, I just deleted them. So you put all of this together. Oh, and also for boots, just real quick, just for boots, you can also go with the royal sandals. Now, these cost a, a heck of a lot of silver, especially for newbies, but they let you run pretty dang fast, and they give you 20% damage. So you get 20% damage from your, your boots, you can get another 20% from your helmet, and 36 plus 48 from your chest piece. You're going to be, you're going to be blasting, okay? But I'm going to go with the traditional build that is Spectre Hood, Druid Robe, Hellion Shoes, and Bolt Casters. Now, as for food, you got the pork omelet, okay? If you're new, use a cabbage soup. A cabbage soup will heal you up, all right, in between pulls. But once you get good, you don't need it. You can use a pork omelet. So look at my cooldowns. 1.95 seconds on the queue. I'm going to eat the I'm going to eat the omelet. Now my cooldown is 1.69. I'm going to switch my uh, boots and helmet to cooldown reduction. And now it is 1.66. So in this case, I'm going to go with damage on both. And then it goes up to 1.73. And then I have the Care Leone cape on, but we're going to switch to the Thetford cape. And uh, let's go ahead and finish this run. Also, if you haven't watched my other videos, you'll notice I've got journals on me. I know earning the earning potential right now is really bad because of... Uh, how the black market is working, but here, here's here's the whole build-in's fullest. I'm going to activate my Druid Robe. I'm going to activate uh, Refreshing Sprint. I'm going to just spam Qs on these monsters and kill them. And then, before this runs out, that leftmost buff, I'm going to press Q so that I get a full stack here. I'm going to use Auto Attack to kill that with the Thetford Cape. And I'm just going to run through the dungeon and blast. I'm going to activate my, uh, my helmet and then my armor again. That way... I keep the six stacks. You see the six stacks still up? And look how much damage I'm doing. Yes, I am at maximum spec for this video. And honestly, if you play like 8 to 12 hours a day, by your second day, you'll have an 8-3 weapon set. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, I can't afford a full 8-3 weapon set. Uh, or a full 8-3, you know, class set. You don't need 8-3 on every piece. You only need 8-3 on your weapon for speed clearing. And if you don't want to worry about your defenses, 8-3 on your armor. That's it, okay? Uh, your helmet and boots only give you additional mana and health, but your armor gives you, well, more protection and, uh, yeah, way more health. So I'm going to open with auto attack so it spreads the chain lightning and then finish off the mobs. So I'm going to press R, D, F, Q, auto, Q. And also you'll notice how I grouped up all the mobs. Right? You just... you The way you play this is you never really stop running. And, and I uh, I failed to keep my jacket active there. I'm going to reactivate it so I keep the six stacks. Alright, you see how they're grouped up? I'm just shooting in the middle so it hits both of them. I'm going to kite the melee guy near the caster so they both die. Very cool. So now we're at a boss. Alright, I'm going to press... I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press W and then E. That's it. That's all you do. Look, look at his health. 
gone, gone, dead, instantly dead, instantly deleted, two, two global cooldowns, and he's dead, all right? And yes, I know that there's, there's a buff shrine in that path that I skipped, I, I don't need it, I really don't. So auto Q. By the way, if you uh, if you want to weave in autos, you just press spacebar while holding right click, and this lets you orb walk. So the, generally, what you want to do is you launch an auto into a Q. You cannot launch an auto after a Q immediately. There's a delay. So R D F. I'm gonna get these guys aggroed. I missed that one on the right, so I have to use another global to take them both down. They're dead. Very cool. Get in range. I only hit two there. That's fine that I only hit two, but look how fast these suckers die, right? I'm looking at my buffs in the top left. I'm about to run out. I'm going to reactivate it. I got a six stacks. We're at the boss. We're going to press W. E. Look at his health. Look at his health, guys. Now, you after your E finishes, like, that was like three, four globals. Let's see if we got anything good. Okay, we got 7,000. Uh, nothing good. But that's that's the build. That's the build, and like I said, you can you can use royal sandals if you want to run faster. You can use the stalker hood if you want to shred armor. Like if I armor shredded the boss, I would deal way more damage, right? And uh, if you worried about health, use a cabbage soup. I just bring healing potions because sometimes I get attacked in the open world since I am faction flagged. And we filled we filled some generalist, and we filled like this is this right here. These mercenary generals. That's like nine to eighteen thousand free silver times seven thousand, and I could blow this up and. Under two minutes, guys. <laughs> Under two minutes. And you can too. And it doesn't take long. It's an MMORPG. Just grind it out. Look, that's the Bolt Caster build revisited for 2021 <laughs> in this mobile update. Okay, guys? I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. And yes, I am pretty much out of video ideas. That's why I'm redoing this. Guys, so many people ask me about... <laughs> they, they keep asking me these builds. It's like they don't go through my channel... And look at all the builds that I've done, so I've got to re-release them. Alright, anyway, like the video and leave a comment. When you do both of those, it it's an algorithm combo. It's a YouTube super combo. So do that right now. And if you haven't hit subscribe, 80% of you have not subscribed. I don't know what the deal is. If I make an upsetting video, just unsubscribe for me, okay? But for now, subscribe, and then if you if you think about it later and you don't like me anymore, maybe I go play a different game you don't like, you can unsubscribe then. But for now, I make a video every day, all right? So hit subscribe. I promise I won't flood your feed with crappy videos, okay? I'm so busy. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro, stay swole. Return your shopping carts. I'll see you in the next one.